Okay, as you can see here, I have laid out a route. Um, having coffee at uh, Einstein's Bagels, I wanted to, <clears throat> wanted to see if I could create a route with several waypoints uh, going back to my house here in Carrollton. You can see I've added all of these uh, waypoints over here. Some of them are just intersections of different roads. Some are Starbucks. Um, I intentionally put the starting point of the route, I'd say about a half a mile, maybe a quarter of a mile from where I'm located right now. I want to see how this GPS responds to having a starting point uh, not being exactly at the coordinates where the bike is located when I start the, the route, when I actually invoke the route. I want to see how it reacts to that. <coughs> and, um, and then I also, basically these are just points along the road, along my my trip home and I want to also notice if it if the GPS or the navigation system announces the name of the stop or if it announces the address of the stop I want to see how that works and just in general kind of see how this uh, system works I've only got seven waypoints so it should uh, it should work so let's uh, let's load this onto the USB uh, install it on the GPS on the bike and go for a ride and see how it does. Well, once I loaded the route to my Honda 2018 Goldwing GPS and selected that route, the first thing I notice is, once again, it has changed the destination to a different address. If you'll look back on my uh, Honda Trip Planner, I put 4464 Young Drive as the destination. And when the GPS on the bike pulls it up, it changes it to 4488 Young Drive. That's unacceptable. Uh, as far as I know, it's changing all the addresses of all the waypoints in the system. I have no way of knowing it. Now, yes, I could go in and edit that route, create a new destination, delete the old one, but what a pain. Nobody's going to go through that. This is a complete failure. So the next thing I tried to do was change the volume of the navigation system coming through the helmet. And as you'll see in this little video clip, I press the enter button, pull up the Navi volume. I tried turning the uh, joystick knob left and right. It does nothing. I tried clicking it left and right. It does nothing. Well, it changed the, the uh, source of my audio input, but it did nothing for the Navi volume explain this Honda. Now one of the members on the GL forum pointed out that once you choose the navigation volume menu item you then use the volume control on your hand controls to increase the volume of the navigation and I just didn't think of that. To me that was not intuitive since it's all menu driven and you're using the knob and the mouse or whatever you call that thing anyway uh, but apparently you can change the volume, you just have to use the volume switch. So when I laid out my route, I intentionally set the starting point to be about a quarter of a mile down the road from where I was having coffee and where I was going to actually start my journey. This is a very common thing to do on a, with a GPS system and typically what it will do is if you're not at your starting destination, like on the Garmin system, it will ask you, do you want to drive to the starting point or do you want to start from here? And it will recalculate your route accordingly. This system does not do that. Uh, I started off, I actually drove a road right past what I had put in the system as the starting point and from that point forward, the system kept prompting me to make a U-turn and go back to the starting point. It never figured out that I was on the route that I had laid out. I just had gone or driven right by the starting point. And so it was very annoying. Now, to its credit, the Honda Trip Planner website does allow you to assign a name to these waypoints that you set up on a route. As you can see here, I have Racetrack, Tom Thumb, Holy Grail, which is actually the name of a cross street, Starbucks, Highway 121. Unfortunately, the GPS does not recognize those names. So when you approach those waypoints, it does not announce 
that you're approaching Tom Thumb. Instead, all it says really is that you're approaching an intermediate destination. It doesn't even tell you which one. Furthermore, if you want to delete a waypoint or rearrange a waypoint, all it shows you are the addresses. It doesn't give you the names of the waypoint. Well, if I have 20 waypoints, not that you can do that with this GPS because you're limited to eight, but if you have all these different waypoints, I don't know the address. That's why I give them a name. The whole point of naming a waypoint is so that you know what it is when you look at it on the screen. So this screen is completely useless. Now, another bad feature, I guess, or bug or shortcoming of this GPS is when it announces that you need to turn at a certain street or road, it will say, turn right on fairway DR or turn right on young DR. It does not even have the intelligence to interpret DR as drive or RD as road or LN as lane. That is unacceptable. It should know when it sees the letters DR that that's a drive or LN is a lane. I put the eight waypoint limitation last because I really feel given all the other shortcomings and problems with this GPS system, that's the least of my worries. Uh, I don't even know how I'd manage more than eight waypoints given that it doesn't use waypoint names and it doesn't really announce waypoints as you're riding. Uh, basically, this GPS needs a complete overhaul. Uh, Honda really blew it. Why they didn't stick with Garmin, uh, I'll never know. I thought the GPS on the 2012 Goldwing was bad, but it was light years ahead of this 2018, and I guess I just never, it never occurred to me that Honda would make a step backward in this technology. This is probably the worst navigation system I have ever tried to use, period, bar none. You could buy a $75 Garmin at Costco and it's gonna have more features and work better than this system. It's that bad. It's so bad that had I known it had this much limitations, I might not have even bought the 2018 Goldwing because I used the hell out of a GPS when I'm on a road trip.